Jamie here from Real Steel. Um, in today's video, we are going to be doing final assembly today. And uh, hopefully I don't ride the struggle bus as much as I did yesterday when I was working on it. But we're going to have to see. Now this is part number three. I was going to do a two-parter, but I figured three-parters would be good. Um, we still got quite a bit to do, so but we're on the home stretch. So let's get started. All right, so where I left you off with yesterday, I fired it up, it did run, so we're good there. Now we've got to assemble the rest of the motor, and we gotta get the front clip on, of course, the core support and stuff, which we can do that. And as you can see over here, we've got a lot less parts. So hopefully we're on the home stretch, but we're gonna start with the engine and get all that stuff done. Before we put the core support, it just makes things a lot easier. Then we'll put the core support in, radiator, grill, and all that. And then hopefully, we'll, we can steal the taillights out of the Ram Charger. And because I stole them for this out of that truck. And uh, hopefully, we can take her on a drive today. So, here we go. All right. Now, before we get started, these water pump bolts here go into the block or the cooling jacket. So you'll want to put some silicone on them. But other than that, uh, you're good to go. This top one does not get silicone. So but here we go. As you can see, we got the motor pretty well buttoned up. Uh, power steering pump flopped me a little bit, but not bad. I don't understand that. And direct AC compressor components and smog pump, if it had one, are metric, but everything else is standard. So I don't know, but we got her nailed. Uh, next step, I'm gonna daddle with that cooler line a little bit. And cause I had to cut it off with my old radiator. I got some longer. And we're going to get the core support out here, 
get all the tools picked up and we're gonna try and slam this core support in let's keep going all right fellas one step forward two steps back uh chrysler sometime in the late 80s i don't know this is hard to be kind of hard to get y'all up in here but they decided to i had it before got to record uh focus focus they decided to add an extra boss you can see that one that got sliced up up there uh to their transmissions uh so yeah that's what was keeping me from getting it planted in easily yesterday and i was messing with the kick down and turns out uh it was hitting it and not letting it go all the way forward so I just took the four and a half inch grinder and I just did the best I could. Uh, you can see here's the little bit I cut off. Uh, but now the kick down clears and everything, but I had to pull the shift linkage and stuff off. So yeah, one step forward, two steps back. But I'm gonna button this stuff up and uh, we'll get to uh, putting the course board in there. We got our core support buttoned up. It is a little bit of a fight, but not too bad. What you saw me looking down the center was there's an alignment hole there, and that basically helps you center it. Uh, I'm sure the factory had some kind of tool or something, but she's locked down now, and we're going to get to bolting the fenders up and the valance, and we're going to go from there. And then we'll do probably do the grill and all that then the rad and hopefully we'll get to take her for a test drive here in a little bit. Core support in and fenders bolted up, balance bolted up. 
I shut the camera off for a little bit because I had to fight that driver's fender to get it up into place. Uh, don't know why, but it's always kind of sat low. Maybe it was in a wreck or something in the previous life. Who knows? Uh, I'd have found evidence of body work, but one never knows. Has a crappy paint job on it with clear coat that peels. So yeah, maybe it was in a wreck. Who knows? But I'm going to smack the radiator in there, and I'm not going to film that because I've got to do some stuff underneath, and I know it's hard to film underneath. So then we'll put the grill in there and bumper, and we should be pretty close to taking this thing for a test drive. So stick around. guys sorry about the noise neighbors mowing uh you can see we just got the grill and headlight bezels in uh, i'll come back later and get the bumper it's just getting a little late uh radiators in tranny coolers hooked up i did flush the tranny cooler in the radiator uh so i could uh make sure there was no debris in that uh it's all full of coolant and everything i bled the system wiring's all in about all I got left to do is slam an air cleaner on it, get it fired up, put a battery in it, of course, fire it up, and I'll have to check the training fluid and stuff like that, and then we can go for a drive. So yeah, stick around for just a little bit and hopefully we'll drive it. All right, we got our gears down in, guys. Let's go drive this thing. Sorry if it gets a little loud, but man, it slammed right into gear. That makes me real happy. Let's go drive this thing. Oh, yeah. Our steering's not as sensitive as the other truck, huh? Guess I'm used to driving the other truck. We are up to temperature, so I'll say sorry if this gets a little loud. All right. So far, so good. First gear, second gear, heck yeah. Third gear, all right, seems to shift real good. I may need to put a little more timing into it, but eh, what the heck, I can do that later on. Sorry, we're losing light. I had to run in town to get some training fluid. Yeah, running out of the sun, but we're running behind. Jackson Brown song. And yeah, we're up to highway speed, and she sounds good. I 
even drove this thing to the East Coast once to see my wife's family at Eastern Pennsylvania. And it really did good. It made 17 miles per gallon. And I didn't have nothing special, no AC, no nothing. It just cruised. So yeah, this is a good old truck. It's got its flaws, but what other old truck doesn't, you know? Almost 300,000 miles on it. That's pretty good. I love this old girl. I wouldn't trade her for the world, and no, she's not for sale. Not only have I latched onto it, my wife has latched onto it as well, so yeah, sorry guys. Still need to do some brake work on it. Uh, used to that freaking soft power pedal that's in the 90. That steering was real loose in that 92. I mean, easy to turn. So, it's going to take some getting used to. But... guys it's been a few days um filmed my original outro really wasn't too happy with it so i'm gonna do it again been driving her for a while she's doing good now it will need a rad in the future it still runs a little warm nothing super terrible but it's also been hotter than a peach orchard boar out here so yeah one little hiccup i had on the test drive i thought it was out of gas but Turns out the pickup and the distributor decided to quit. I went out later that night and tried to start it. Nothing. But luckily, I had some pickups available, you know, and distributors. So I just changed the whole distributor. And she's good to go now. Like I say, I put quite a few miles on it. And uh, so far, so good. So I couldn't be happier. But anyway, when I first introduced you to this truck... I decided to uh, make my first video a holiday burnout video. And uh, I figured, what better way to end this series than to smoke them a little bit. Now, I can't blow that tire. I got to drive on it. But uh, how about a nice little burnout to end this series? This is Jamie from Real Steel Auto Works. And I'll catch you all on the, on the flip side. See ya.